Hi, welcome back to Comic Book Gallery. I'm your host, Joaquin. How are we doing, people? Today's video is what's in the box, so let's get on with it. All right, so I always open these and, um, I'm not showing the person's address, but I, you know, I do check on them. So, and then I repack them the way that they were packed so people can look. Thought they did a pretty good job. So the bubble wrap prevented it from moving. And if you've been watching some of my earlier videos, you know I'm getting back into collecting uh, the first Age of Apocalypse, which was in 1995. And when this series hit, people loved it. And it was a monthly title and it stretched out like five or six books. Maybe, excuse me, maybe even more. But I kind of want to read it that way. So I, you know, I get the books, I inspect them, but here's the thing about these books. Um, I want to say the second book has the, excuse me, got the hiccups or something, has the uh, first appearance of Sugar Man. Now, Sugar Man looks cool. I'm not going to, you know, I'm looking at that and I'm like, damn, Sugar Man. Um, but his appearance is not worth anything. I mean, you would have to have, I think a nine eights worth like 40 bucks and it's like it would cost you more to with shipping insurance and to have it cleaned and pressed unless you did that yourself and even if you cleaned and pressed it yourself with shipping and grading you're still at a negative 40 bucks so you know it's not worth it so the series as a whole is not worth that much at all but for uh, collectors like myself who just want to read a good story, this is great. You know, you don't have to get the omnibus. I mean, you can if you want to. I'm thinking about getting it. I can just read it straight through. But um, for as far as, like, collectors go, this is a good story to collect, especially if you're an X-Men fan. It's like, I can't recommend this. I mean, this is highly, I highly recommend this. Got lost in uh, thoughts there. So it says, enter now, the age of apocalypse. So, um, you know, you got uh, Kitty Pride, Shadow Cat, you have Colossus, uh, Chambers is on the bottom, and then uh, Cannonball's sister, I think her name is Paige. And um, this is from like the time of Generation X. So I think this guy's name was Mundo, but love the artwork on this you know that oh the other thing too the whole series was just great so um the premise is uh professor x died apocalypse takes over and um even the the iconic x-men have chosen sides like uh I want to say Havoc and uh, Scott Summers are with Apocalypse, which when we first saw that, I was like, whoa, that's different. I like it. Um, every team has a different, all, all the all the people have a different look to them. And this uh, focus more on, uh, if I remember correctly, it was more about saving uh, Peter's sister, Liliana. Ili not Liliana, I'm thinking of Magic Gathering. Um, Ellie, no. God, I can't even think of her name right now. Put that in the comments below. Um, but I know it starts with an L or it's an I-L. It's a Russian name. Um, so they have to break into this complex. I believe that's what Generation Next was about. And look at look at this this cover work. I mean this cover art, man. I love it. So this is right here is the first appearance of uh, Sugar Man, and he's I I doubt he'll ever go up. Um, I don't I, I really don't see Marvel or Disney doing Age of Apocalypse. If we're lucky, they would do a cartoon and maybe that would spike some books up. But even then, it just, you know, like, yeah, a big roller coaster going down. So, you know, it is. So here's part three. 
And I want to say with shipping and handling and taxes, like $14 to get all these books. You know, it was like five of it being uh, shipping. So it came down to like $2 a book, which I was fine with. Uh, nobody... I think one person bid on the auction and that was it. They just, a lot of people will do that. They'll bid on like, you know, a hundred items at just one bid and maybe they get three or four of them, five or six, you know, I mean, at that point you're just playing percentages. And so that's how they, you know, grab a whole bunch of stuff. You know, I don't know if it's a hundred, but you know, maybe 10 to 20, I could see you doing that and getting, and getting at least one, maybe two. And here is the final conclusion of Generation Next. And so in, inside of each of these books, you will get a um, like a, a summary of what books to collect. So I know the colors blend in on this one. So I'll, get, I'll, I'll pull this one up. And you can see they're in the middle of a battle here. Colossus is just going to town on fools. And so I want to say most of these books are like, you know, 8.5 to a 9.0 again. Nothing. But I will open it up. Um, usually these books will um, start with an intro. Like he's like, the name is Jonathan um, Star Moore's. Mates call me Jono, to the rest it's Chambers, and uh, what I did like about this compared to the uh, normal Chambers is that his mouth was always open, like he just how he had all this energy that was constantly flowing, and here they made him look like, you know, normal, like I like his look better, and so he's got this device where he's kind of like Havoc, and this device is um, constantly keeping in his energy, Oh, that was cool. So they um, they started this off with like a training. So they're fighting. And there's Paige and Mundo. And, and you know, the art's just nice. Even the stories in all these books. So let me get to where... Okay, so here, here's where I wanted to go. Oops. X Facts, January 1995, the dream is over. A man who should have never died is now gone. His passing marks the loss of a world full of promise, a world, a world of hope unfettered and heralds the coming of a reality rift with the ravages of chaos and confusion and an age of madness and destruction. Enter now the age of apocalypse. Let the nightmare begin. And so... At the, very, at the very beginning, you know, they're, they're giving you the math, they're showing you what's going on, uh, they're giving you a little bit of history about things that have happened, and then they give you the wish list. So the wish list is um, Astonishing X-Men number one, so I think I have that series coming in pretty soon, X-Men number one, so I do have to get X-Men number one, uh, Generation X number one, I want to get the this series for that. Uh, Weapon X number one, Excalibur number one, X Factor, I mean Amazing X-Men number one, X Factor number one, Gambit and the Eternals number one, and X-Men Chronicles number one. And because I teased with that page, here is Colossus. Man, he looks badass. So, that's it, people. I mean... If you guys are out there collecting the Age of Apocalypse, I, I highly recommend just going out and just uh, looking through the dollar sections. You might be able to find a lot of these books. Um, do what I'm doing, just going on eBay and just finding them. Like, don't pay too much, you know. Uh, as far as, like I was telling you at the very beginning, for collector value, the only collector value is just really reading them and, and then having them. Um, on average, maybe... I would have to wait probably another five to ten years to try to double my money on this. So it's not 
in investment. It's just a really great read. So if you're looking for a good X-Men story, I highly recommend The Age of Apocalypse in 1995, the first version. And I'm going to collect a second version too, and I'll compare those two. But with that, Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, hello. And I want to thank all the new subscribers. Um, I'm close to hitting my goal this month because my birthday was April 12th. And I wanted to get a goal of reaching 500 by the end of the month. So I'm close there. I'm like three something. So you can help me out by supporting the channel. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Hit a like. And leave a comment below. Did you collect this when it first came out? Do you plan on collecting this? And with that, people, I'll catch you later. Gotta have like a shine off face. I know you'd be like, or serious walkie.